welcome you all in the second part of the session on role of ROS in signaling during mitigation of stress in the era of global climate change. And in this particular section, we are going to discuss on impact of global climate change on growth and crop production. So the land and its agriculture are being affected by climate changes in different ways. The threat of varying global climate change has greatly driven the attention of scientists as these variations are imparting negative impact on global crop production and compromising food security worldwide. According to some predicted reports, agriculture is considered the most endangered activity adversely affected by climate changes since climate change affects plants growth and development. Environmental extremes and climate variability enhances the chances of numerous stresses on plants. There are certain direct, indirect, and socioeconomic effects of climate change on plants growth and development. The direct effects include morphological changes, physiological changes, phenotypic changes, and plant productivity. Indirect effects include changes in soil fertility, irrigation availability, rise in sea level, pests, heat, flood, and drought. Climate change also affects food demand, farmers' response, cost, policy, trade, unequal distribution. To get rid of these adverse effects of global climate change, human interventions, adaptation strategies, and mitigation strategies need to be adopted so that reduction in agriculture production and vulnerability of plants towards stresses may be taken care of. The socioeconomic impact of global warming could be substantial depending on the actual temperature increases over the next century. There are models which predict that a net global warming of one to three degrees C beyond the late 20th century, global average would produce economic losses in some regions, particularly the tropics and high latitude and economic benefits in other. For warming beyond those levels, benefits would tend to decline and cost increase. For warming in excess of four degrees C, models predict that cost will exceed benefits on average with global mean economic losses estimated between one and 5% of gross domestic product. Substantial disruption could be expected under those conditions, specifically in the areas of agriculture, food, forest products, water, energy, and human health as well. So the uh, because of temperature rise, changes in rain and snowfall, incidences of weather events, rise in sea level and higher atmospheric carbon dioxide concentration, food chain is also affected. It becomes vulnerable. Impacts will depend on specific regions or systems and their capacity to reduce them. In some cases, impacts may be positive, although current knowledge points out that Many places, negative impacts will outweigh positive ones. There's still uncertainty on the potential impacts of climate change on specific agroecosystem. The availability and quality of natural resources, the conditions to allow for the production, storage, and distribution of food will be fundamentally for food security under climate change. Three A's. If appropriate, Appropriate actions are not taken at different levels. Food security will be affected by climate variability and change at the expense of social economic stability of all nations. So climate change is also going to affect factors that concerns plants growth and development. One such factor is water resources. So water resources are likely to be affected substantially by global warming. It is going to impact 
the availability of water in regions affected by decrease in annual or seasonal precipitation. Higher incidences of weather events leading to floods or droughts is expected, reduced storage of water in the form of snow and earlier melting of winter snow, leading to shifts in peak runoff from the seasons where demand is highest. Then inundation and damage in low-lying coastal areas affected by sea level rise and storm surges are also foreseen and increased saline intrusion into freshwater aquifers is also foreseen. Increased crop water demand due to higher temperature is also expected. Now, another factor that is related to agriculture production is soil health. Actually, a healthy soil is key to agriculture production. Climate change is expected to affect soil health by decreasing soil moisture from less precipitation and runoff and changes in evapotranspiration. Increasing soil erosion is also expected because of strong winds, storms, landslides caused by weather events. Increase in soil salinization in coastal areas is also expected because of rising sea level. Increasing inundation and water logging from excessive precipitation of floods caused by weather events is also expected. Changing soil carbon storage and the capacity of the soils to retain or release nutrients will also be affected due to temperature and precipitation changes. At the same time, soil biota is also affected due to climate change. Global climate change will cause a variety of impact on biological diversity, which altogether will affect how ecosystem and agriculture function. function. The variety of life is basically called as the biological diversity or biodiversity, which is very, very important for agriculture, especially the soil organism, plants and insects, they play a key role in agriculture production. Directly or indirectly, climate change can produce a variety of effects on biological diversity, including fluctuations in distribution of species, range of habitat, timing of life stages and disruption in ecosystem. For agriculture, this may imply, for example, changes in organisms involved in nutrient cycling, loss of crop land races, crops maturing earlier, not surviving under new conditions or being able to grow in new areas, change in agroclimatic conditions, which will modify land suitability for specific crops. Shift of species in animal husbandry, movement of pests and changes in distribution of plant and animal diseases and movement for or decline of pollinators. So there are many organisms which are either present in soil or out, out, in the outside environment, they are going to affect they are going to be affected by global climate change and then ultimately it is going to affect agriculture as well. One of the most important ecosystem services for sustainable crop production is the mutualistic interaction between plants and animals, that is pollination. There are very few studies on impacts of climate change on pollination, but some ideas on how they can be affected includes further population declines, poleward expansion of pollinators, disruption of pollination through special temporal mismatch of plant flowering and pollinator activity. So altogether, we see that these aspects are going to affect the agriculture sector. It was also modeled the potential impact of climate change on agriculture in different countries and their models assumed no adaptation and mitigation actions and did not include climate variability. And it was then shown that 
most of the countries, including Australia, China, Canada, US, Argentina, Brazil, and India as well, there will be a yield loss if you compare 2030 and 2050 from, nine, from now, we can easily make out that there will be a reduction in the crop yield if proper management and proper action will not be taken care. So uh, we can cate categorize different phenomenon and direction of trend during global climate change and their likelihood that whether it is certain or it is likely and we can then also show its impact on agriculture and water resources. So over most land areas, warmer and fewer cold days and nights, warmer and more frequent hot days and nights are expected. And this particular phenomenon is virtually certain and it is going to impact the agriculture, it is going to be increased yields in colder environment and decreased yields in warmer environment and increased insect outbreaks is also going to be foreseen. And it is also going to impact the water resources in the sense effects on water resources relying on snow melt and it is going to uh, affect some water supplies as well. Then warm spells, heat waves, frequency increases over most land areas are also very likely, which is going to cause reduced yields in warmer regions due to heat stress and increased danger of wildfire. It is going to cause increased water demand and water quality problems, and it, is going, it may cause more of algal blooms in water resources. Heavy precipitation events, frequency increases over most areas. This phenomena is also going to be very likely and it is going to damage the crops because it is going to cause soil erosion, inability to cultivate land due to water logging of soils and adverse effects on quality of surface and ground water is expected. Contamination of water supply, water scarcity, is going to be relieved. Then it is also very likely that some of the area will be affect, affected by drought, more of drought uh, in that area, which is going to cause land degradation, lower yield, crop damage and crop failure, increased livestock death, increased risk of wildlife, more widespread water stress. Intense tropical cyclone activity also increases because of global climate change, which is going to cause damage to crops, uprooting of trees, damage to poor and reefs, and power outages causing disruption of public water supply. Increased incidences of extreme high sea level is also very likely, which is going to cause salinization of irrigation water, estuaries, and fresh water system which is going to now decrease fresh water availability due to salt water intrusions. So these are some of the impacts of global climate change, which is an ultimately going to cause reduction, most of the time reduction in the crop production. Now, uh, now we are going to uh, explain some of the few examples which are very important and which is actually going to uh, tell us that uh, climate change has actually affected uh, production of some of the crops. One such example is potential impact of an industrial oil crop in India, that is a future climate change scenario analysis was done and it was shown that Indian mustard, this is the plant or this is the oil crop which we are talking about right now, this, uh, the yield of this particular oil crop plant, Indian mustard, is likely to fall in both irrigated as well as rain-fed conditions in India. By 2050 and 2080, yield reduction would be the highest in eastern India followed by central India and then northern India. So climate change is going to affect 
all four dimensions of food security that is food availability food accessibility food utilization and food system stability it will have an impact on human health livelihood assets food production and distribution channels as well as changing purchase power and market flows now we are taking the second example of apple and pear this study analyzed the relationship between mean full bloom dates of three apple and one pear cultivar with temperature and rainfall trends over the period 1973 and 2009 they found that full bloom dates were advanced on average by 1.6 days per decade associated with a mean early spring temperature which increases by 45 degrees c per decade or an average of 3.6 degree advance 3.6 days advance per degree c rise in mean early spring temperature golden delicious apples were the most sensitive because of changing temperature and granny smith apples were the ones which were least sensitive this has implications for fruit trees management in the region as an increase in temperature is expected in the first half of this century then we take another example from uk in this study uh, it was assessed that the impact of climate change on the depth of irrigation applied and on volumetric water demand in the vale of evesham an area of intense outdoor horticultural production the study showed that with climate change dry year water demand for the existing irrigated crops in the vale of evesham would increase by 25 to 50% by 2050 and 38 to 84% by 2080 most impacted will be potatoes field scale vegetables and small fruit production now this is an example of impact of global climate change on grape quality for wine making in this particular study it was shown that the most important effects of climate change on grape production are advanced harvesting times and increased grape sugar concentration which leads to higher wine alcohol levels lower acidities and a modification of varietal aroma compounds from this discussion we conclude that there are positive and negative effects of climate change on plants growth and development the positive effects are increased productivity from warmer temperature is expected especially in the area where generally the temperature is low that is temperate regions decreased moisture stress in the area which is going to experience more of precipitation possibility of growing new crops will be there accelerated maturation rates are expected longer growing season increased productivity from enhanced carbon dioxide and the negative impacts include crop damage from extreme heat planning problems due to less reliable forecast increased insect infestation torrential rain increased drought increased weed growth increased moisture stress increased crop diseases which is ultimately going to cause socio economic effects and therefore we conclude from this session that there are positive as well as negative impacts of climate change on plants growth and development but the ne negative impacts are more therefore the human interventions are required.